building yeah, we can see, we can see just so you're looking at the backup systems. Yeah, there's a few yeah. lights on there. I'm going to go to Chad Myers, but if you stay with us, because he's got some breaking news that he wanted to tell me, which I think will interest you. So let's go to Chad. Chad, tell me about the stock exchange. According to the National Weather Service, through broadcast media, there's three feet of water on the trading floor on Wall Street. Wow. Three feet of water on the New York Stock Exchange, and Aaron has spent a lot of time on that floor. Well, let's go back to Aaron straight away. Aaron, you heard that. Three feet of water on the yes. stock exchange floor. What is that going to do to the ability of the floor to open again? It's been shut for the last two days, but surely they can't open tomorrow, probably not the next day, maybe the rest of the week. What does that do to the financial system? I mean, it's pretty incredible, Pierce. I, you know, I spent years every day on that floor. First of all, it's a wooden floor. It's an historic building. And so I, the, the, just the damage that it's going to do is going to be incredible. But when you have you know, you pictures of that stock exchange, but basically there's a floor and then there's little hubs all over the place. And those hubs are, are basically just electronic systems. That's all they are. They are these giant tubes by which all the trading, I mean, you know, let's just you know, essentially this is still the world's financial hub uh, that the trading goes through. But there aren't that many people on the floor of the stock exchange anymore because it's all electronic. And it's electronics that are going to be threatened by the floods. Now, by the stock exchange today, there were all kinds of sandbags piled up to just prevent this very thing from happening. But Pierce, that is an incredible thing. It hasn't happened before. It means it's going to be closed for a long time. The last time the New York Stock Exchange was closed uh, just by its own, you know, by making the choice was back in September 11th of 2001. The last day it was closed for two days because of a natural storm was back in 1888. So you're talking about, I mean, a, a, a record-making moment. It's something I think that people around the world have got to be shocked when they when they hear about tonight. Absolutely amazing. Aaron, stay, stay with us. We'll, we'll be back to you soon. Chad, uh, we're hearing